Hello and welcome once again everyone. Today's video features the Tier 10 French Premium Battleship Bourgogne. Before jumping into some very entertaining highlights from a recent match during random battles, I'd like to give a special shout out to Uzora from Clan Omni for sharing this very good game with me. As usual, I've included the full ship build including upgrades and captain skills after the main highlights. The timestamp can be seen here on screen for your convenience. Their Brookhoin is available for 30,000 steel in the armory and while that price might seem very high, there is a reason, simply stated, that Brookhoin is an incredibly powerful battleship. The shots away on that it would appear almost stationary Haragumo Having not had the pleasure of playing the Burgoyne myself, what stands out immediately is its impressive speed and manoeuvrability. With the Sierra Mike signal flag and speed boost consumable running, Burgoyne can attain over 38 knots, making it the fastest tier 10 battleship in the game. And its this great speed is one of Burgoyne's greatest strengths. Having this very effective cruiser-like mobility allows one to blaze like an extremely tanky cruiser. Being able to redeploy quickly across the battlefield when need be, or aggressively seek out crossfires, avoiding log jams or static situations whenever possible. Burgoyne's very strong anti-aircraft defences comfortably take care of those couple of Kaga planes. Shots away on the enemy Missouri. Enemy Missouri is showing broadside, so our captain quickly pops the reload booster, one of the hallmarks of the premium French battleships. Nice looking dispersion there. Missouri still showing quite a, quite a bit of broadside. It's a nice salvo, 23,000. You can see these 380mm guns quite capable of dealing out a considerable amount of damage. Missouri has angled in slightly. Less effective on more angle targets, 4300 there. If one has played the tier 9 French battleship Alsace, you'll be very comfortable with the playstyle of the Burgoyne, as it's basically an upgraded version. Shots away once again on the enemy Haragumo, he's quite far away. The Haragumo is one of the few destroyers that still takes full armor piercing damage, so it's always worth taking a pot shot when the opportunity arises. Enemy Kremlin and Missouri spotted there in the distance. Briefly drop detection. Their captain has moved out to the extreme left flank. And you can see now a static situation is beginning to build up. It's a situation that arises quite often at the sea cap, especially when there is no destroyer to provide that spotting. Both teams take up static holding positions behind these islands and the result is a sort of a Mexican standoff of sorts. Both destroyers have taken up central positions by the B cap and they would seem to be retreating over towards A. So our captain is going to start rotating around. He is located. Back on is still turning. Enemy Missouri is spotted and the Kremlin. They are, however, both angled, so our captain switches to high explosive. Oh, and that's really unfortunate. The Neptune pops up while our captain is reloading and he gets undetected. The Neptune was literally a sitting duck there for a couple of seconds, but he had the good fortune our captain was swapping out ammo. It's a fire on that Missouri, and he's in a nice position now to be able to kite away. Takes minimal damage from the Kremlin. 
that Missouri is being focused. Shots out once again. Little unfortunate there, the front gun just clipped the island. You can see all these ships in a holding pattern here. Gets a second fire on that Missouri. So it's a little unusual, we're almost six minutes into the match. Still both teams are fully complemented. Our captain is moving towards the center. We switch back to armor piercing. Looking to get some angles on these enemy ships behind these islands. When the Amalfi is spotted, he would seem to be making a broadside turn behind that island. The dispersion is looking very nice. Huge hit on the Amalfi there and he goes down. Oh no, I'm actually mistaken. It's actually the Missouri that burns to death at the exact same moment as that big salvo 30k plus on the Amalfi. Shots away there on the Kremlin. 7800. Our shells inbound there from down there somewhere on the H-line. That would be a Yamato. Our captain is undetected now and is going to push hard into the center of the map here. I was initially quite confused there. With that Amalfi I was expecting a devastating strike, but it was actually the Missouri that went down at the exact same moment. Getting a nice angle here on this Kremlin. Flat broadside. He is just trying to creep in behind that island. Shots out. Dispersion is looking good. Citadel 18k on the Kremlin. Focus fire on those enemy torpedo planes. Enemy Kremlin is just after sneaking in behind that island, but he does, he does get taken out. The Neptune that escaped earlier is spotted once again and he's still showing flat broadside. He won't escape a second time and there is that Deb strike. Huge hit on that enemy Neptune and he goes down. So our captain now has pushed aggressively into the center of the map. He's in the process of capturing the B point and in quick succession he's taken out the Missouri and the Neptune. Once again, our captain is focusing his AA defences on these torpedo planes that are coming in. Putting down fire on that Donskoy as he manoeuvres away, trying to escape that sea capture point. He's lost all support there. He is manoeuvring. And he gets undetected. And Malfi pops up once again. He is quite low. That is down to our captain, of course. Shots out once again. The dispersion is looking quite good. And the Amalfi gets taken out by our good captain. Enemy Kaga is sending in dive bombers again, it would seem. Shots out once again on the enemy Donskoy. Donskoy is quite manoeuvrable, he is under fire. He is quite low there as well. Just get undetected though. So now our captain has taken that B point and he's pushing forward using his heel to repair some damage. And our captain is going to push forward here and engage this enemy Yamato. who, funnily enough, is sitting flat broadside. That's a double citadel. That's over 30,000 damage. And our captain gets the Confederate award. Our captain has almost seamlessly demonstrated one of the key skills necessary to help you make Burgoyne perform at her best, which is recognizing enemy movements and then using Burgoyne's mobility to push into positions, allowing one to create crossfires, which in this case resulted in the whole flank being routed. 
Okay, drops detection. This Yamato has taken up a very curious position. Instead of supporting the bulk of his fleet at the A point, he is in a very deep holding position behind this island. Enemy Kaga would seem to be very close as well, from the direction of those planes that seem to be landing. It would appear that the enemy Yamato has pushed forward and is obscured from vision behind this island. There sure enough is the enemy Kaga. There's the high caliber award for our captain. And the enemy yep, Yamato appears also. Captain has used his reload booster. 10k salvo on the Kaga. Enemy planes coming in. Captain keeps his focus on the Kaga for the moment while angling towards the Yamato. That's another 12k salvo on the Kaga. He does take quite a big hit from the enemy Yamato for 16k, who fired into his superstructure, it seemed. Should be able to finish off the Kaga. His proximity detected by that Yamato, he's now so close. Two overbends. And he gets the close quarters expert by finishing off the Kaga with his secondaries. Enemy Yamato has one of the Halloween camos. Incoming fire from the Massachusetts. He's got the enemy Yamato now where he wants him. He has to show broadside. And his guns are angled the wrong direction. That's a triple citadel. Enemy Yamato burns down and our captain gets his Kraken Unleashed award. Incoming salvo from the Massachusetts. Not in time to save the enemy Yamato. The game ended soon afterwards. Very entertaining match by our captain where he scored almost 300,000 damage. Multiple achievements and a very nice demonstration on how to play the Burgoyne. Before going to the complete ship build, I've added some links including the Help Me Discord and my own personal Discord in the description below. Now on to the build. Starting as usual with the consumables, I always stress the importance of using premium to decrease the cooldown time of your damage control and in this case add extra charges of repair parity, reload booster and engine boost. The Burgoyne gets 6 ship upgrade slots, starting off with main armaments mod 1, engine boost mod 1, aiming systems mod 1, steering gears mod 2, concealment system mod 1, and finally main battery mod 3. Onto the captain skills, starting off with priority target, expert marksman, superintendent, and concealment expert for your first 10 points, and a very solid maxed out 19 point captain will then include preventive maintenance, jack of all trades, adrenaline rush, and finally fire prevention in the order of your own training choice. So let's take a look at what this build means for the ship's final stats. For survivability, Bourgogne gets 74,700 hit points, which is further enhanced by the repair party consumable. Main artillery consists of 3x4 380mm guns, two in the front and one in the rear, with a max firing range of 24.8 kilometers and a relatively good reload speed of 24.6 seconds, while the secondary guns have a max firing range of 7.9 kilometers. Bourgogne gets an AA defense rating of 95, which is quite solid with a standard long range defense of 6 kilometers. 
from maneuverability, Borgogna gets a max base speed of 32 knots, a turning circle of 910 meters, and a rudder shift time of 13.3 seconds. Finally, Borgogna has a concealment rating of 47, meaning you will be surface detected at 13.2 kilometers and by aircraft at 9.8 kilometers. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.